Hello everyone and welcome to Cafe Stella and the Reaper's Butterflies, Natsume's Route. We are Bridge Boys Broadcasting. Welcome and thank you for tuning in. We both really like Shiki and are really excited to see how her route goes. Not to mention we have it on pretty good authority from our viewers that she is one of the best, if not the best, route. So let's get into it. It is only natural. The next day, I ran into Shiki-san on the way to school, and the two of us are now eating lunch in the cafeteria together. I asked for her opinion on everything that happened yesterday, including what Suzune-san had told me, but all she did was nod flatly in agreement. Well, easy for you to say, you're gorgeous. Uh, well, I think it depends. The guy with charisma? Ah, that wasn't an option. I hate trick questions. Well, yeah, I'd imagine so. I don't remember if we look good or not. We know what our personality is like, and it's questionable at best. Ow. That actually hurts even more, you know? Look, I get it. I'm not attractive or charismatic. You don't need to tell me how boring I am. I know. I'm me. Why are you the best judge of this? You're the solitary sniper for Pete's sake. Really? I don't know whether that makes us feel better or worse. Stop getting my hopes up just to dash them. No. Well, I guess that's true. I definitely wouldn't have been able to eat with a girl. I'd be way too nervous about people staring. Why does that matter? Yeah, people are way too caught up in their own stuff to care. Nobody might stare at you, but I'm bound to get a few curious looks. You usually spend most of your time alone, so there'd be plenty of people wondering who I am, what my relationship is with you. Hmm. Maybe. Let me guess. Another cliche line you just wanted to try saying? I disagree. I'm lots of fun. You just have no sense of humor. Sorry, it's a, a little hard to. That night left a pretty strong impression on me, so I'm having a hard time forgetting about it. It wasn't the bar, it was the company. Well, you gotta remember, I'd only ever gone drinking at pubs before that. If you're up for it, we should totally go again sometime. Maybe. Well, I guess it does sound that way, and to be fair, most people would probably think the same. You know, I've thought about using that line to ask a girl before, too. If I were to give someone dating advice, that's probably what I'd suggest. But do you seriously think I'm smooth enough to ask a girl out in real life? Me? But it's what I'm good at. I'm just scared of drinking by myself at a place I've only been to once, so I'd rather go together. Is that a better line? 
I'm not going for Normie, I'm going for Chad, bruh. I mean, dude. That's putting it mildly. I'm nowhere even close. That's a yes. Wait, seriously? As a side note, I'm sure there are cameo appearances in the background, but since Saren Prince is the one that normally knows them, I'm in the dark, so... Sorry. Go on. Fine by me. Today absolutely works. Nope, I'm free. But the time never came. Wrapping up the conversation, she picks up her tray and rises from her seat. Uh, okay. Okay. I had only meant to make a bit of small talk. Man, I didn't think she'd actually take me up on it. She's not messing with me, is she? Surely not. That'd be way too cruel even for a joke. Right? You think so? What is this about? I'm getting lessons on how to be more sociable from the solitary sniper, if you must know. Well, we've been co workers for a while now. So, yeah, I'm why, thank you. Yeah, for the most part. I feel like I see her almost every day now. I'm finally wearing her down. Oh, okay, maybe my perception of her has been wrong. Yeah, I guess not. I do see her in class or on campus every now and then. And like Hiroto says, she's a bit of a lone wolf. No, not really. We weren't having a meeting or anything. We just both happened to be free for lunch. Is that, uh, really so surprising? I'm evolving. What? I do not hide, I just act natural and pretend I don't see them. That's normal, right? I mean, come on. They'll think I'm annoying if I act all friendly and shit. Yeah, but then they pretend I'm not there and it works. True enough. I'd always had the impression that she was a pretty cold person due to her reputation as the solitary sniper. Me too. But after talking to her and getting to know her, I realized that she's anything but. In fact, I even enjoy her company. That's why I asked her to go to that bar with me again. And to my surprise, she actually said yes. Just recapping what happened a few minutes ago to make sure I didn't imagine it. I'm not missing something here, am I? I don't think she was just trying to be nice. She sounded like she wanted to talk to me too, after all. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> this is making me so nervous. Oh shit, I thought I did that internally. <sighs> Nothing. As I say that, I receive a text notification on my phone. You betcha. Oh, she actually messaged me like she said she would. 
Feeling somewhat elated, I quickly type out sure and hit send. This might be the first time a girl has ever asked me out, even though I asked her out. So, I'm confused. I'm so overjoyed, I almost feel like saving the message. I probably shouldn't though, that'd be a little creepy. All right, gotta focus on class now. Not happening. Thinking about tonight is making me restless with excitement. But my nerves are going to get frayed if this keeps up. I need to calm down. Let's think about something else. Speaking of which, I wonder what Shiki-san wants my opinion on. Does she want my advice specifically? If so, I really don't want to let her down. I hope it's something I can help her with, but what could it be? Now I'm only more curious. And just as I feared, I wound up unable to focus on class for the rest of the day. Called that. Gonna have to study up on that day, I guess. I finish up and leave campus just in time to make it to the cafe by 5.30. Better get going. I wonder if Shiki-san's already here. Come to think of it, why'd she want to meet at 5.30, specifically? Her last class definitely ended way before that. Maybe she had something else to do in the meantime? Well, I guess I'll ask her myself. The front door is already unlocked. Seeing no reason to walk all the way around to the back, I push it open and head inside. What? Did we have a stroke? I'm very confused. <laughs> what the hell is she doing in there? I feel like I just witnessed something totally bizarre. I'm not hallucinating, am I? It almost sounded like Shiki-san was addressing me as Master with a smile on her face. Cautiously, I crack open the door to have another peek inside. Is this a sound recording attached to the door every time we go in? It's just gonna play that same track over and over again, walk out, come back in. Walk out, come back in. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, this is weird. I'm still seeing things. What was in that lunch? What in the world is going on? Steadying myself, I open the door once more. <laughs> oh, come on. Just... Just go in and let her do her thing. You're just torturing her at this point. Alright, how many times do we have to establish? We do not have a cosplay fetish. That's not what is happening. Everything I just saw was real? You know what, it's fine. I like this better anyway. So... Been a while since we've seen the maid outfit. I carefully study the person in front of me once more. I've seen this outfit before. Somewhere long ago. It's the old waitress uniform that she was planning to wear before my dad's friend designed the new ones for us. I'm not dreaming, am I? Poke, poke, smack. That would also work. Please. Ow. 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 Uh, that remark slipped out on reflex, but it doesn't actually hurt that much. 
In fact, it almost feels kind of good in a way. Okay, so not a cosplay fetish, but something else. The tips of her slender fingers feel pleasantly cool as they pull on my cheek. If you must. Yes. The way she treats her master with such respect yet such disdain. I love it. Oh my god. Uh, every time I think that Kosei is just a little bit normal, this happens and it's just like, okay, never mind. Thank you. I'm not sure why, but something about her is causing me to discover a new side of myself. A disturbing, dark side of myself. I may need help. I'd follow you anywhere. Oh, um, okay. I guess I'll play along for now. Tea, Earl Grey, hot. Uh, what would you recommend? Okay, I said it as a joke and a reference, but there we are. I'll have that then. Thanks. She steps behind the counter. Then, with practiced motion, she begins to prepare my tea. I don't get it. From the way she's dressed to the way she calls me her master, you'd think this was a maid cafe. I'd never seen her lay on the charm like this, either. She almost seems like a different person. I don't know, that look she gave us. With a forced smile, that seems pretty familiar to me. It's just been a while. Normally, she's much more reserved when serving customers. After a while, the sweet aroma of bergamot starts to waft in my direction. I rarely get to savor this scent at work, since the smell of coffee usually overpowers it. It really is quite fragrant. I take a long whiff, basking in the aroma. Thanks. Although Shikisana usually moves with calm and grace, today she seems to be acting kind of... Cutesy? For lack of a better word. I hate to say it, but it really just looks weird. Yeah, it's not her at all. Uh, can you, can you just go back to acting how you normally do? You can keep the outfit, though. She seems somewhat uncomfortable doing it, too. Unlike the natural smile she'd learned to put on for work, this just feels wrong. Sato <laughs> Nope, just plain tea, thanks. Uh, just a spoonful of sugar, thanks. No milk for me. Helps the medicine go down. <laughs> She's the sugar fairy. <laughs> ah, there's the death glare. <clears throat> Sorry. Please continue. Alright. I thought I thought we agreed that that's not something you say out loud. Or was she not there when Kana said that? I don't remember. Uh, this is kind of awkward. Plus, I'm not actually your master or anything, so... Yeah. Us too, by proxy. Sorry, but you kind of put me on the spot with this whole moe moe kyun thing. It's pretty embarrassing, I won't lie. Is it though? 
I honestly have no idea. I've never been to a maid cafe. Hold on, can we back up for a second? What is this all about? Why are you wearing that outfit in the first place? <sighs> Take your time. We'll just be here... scanning. Alright. It's understandable. That Moe Moe Kyun was way out of character for her. It was such a rare sight that if I had taken a video, I bet people would pay for it. People will pay for a lot of things. Mulling thought over, I pick up my cup of Earl Grey and take a sip. The fragrant flavor of bergamot fills my mouth. Though the taste is rather strong at first, the bitter aftertones balance it out perfectly. Suddenly we're the sommelier. Some people might not like how strong it tastes, but I don't mind it at all. In fact, it tastes even better than I remember it being. It's the Moe Moe Kyun. Not to say that Shiki-san's tea wasn't delicious before. Wow, I can taste the Moe. Moe-infused tea is amazing. It makes a world of difference. Oi. I will not. Sorry, just trying to break the ice. What? Yes. I wasn't kidding about the taste, though. It's seriously delicious. The aroma and flavor are really well balanced. Even better than it was before, and that's saying something. Could you try to sound just a little bit more enthusiastic? Look, at this point, you're going to have to give us amnesia if you want us to keep forgetting about the stuff you do, because it just keeps racking up. And if I do... Go on. More of a reward than a punishment, if you ask me. Wait, what the hell am I saying? Anyway... What's the reason behind this whole maid master shtick? Yeah, but don't take that seriously. Hey, that was him, not me. But, like, I thought you were totally against this cafe being a maid cafe. Are you saying this is like an out-of-body experience? Because we've had one of those. Yeah, I know that feeling. And I... Well, it was pretty cute. Okay, I can take it back. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make fun of you, I swear, but I'll drop the subject. Still, why are you wearing that outfit specifically? Are you not happy with our current uniforms? I know they're a bit of a departure from the old ones. You don't like showing off that much leg. You're welcome. But there's still some reason you wanted to wear that outfit over it, no? Are you sure it isn't you that has the cosplay fetish? Okay. I will not. Easier said than done. 
ではご主人様ご主人様と一緒に最後に萌えを注入したいと思いますあーまがーはいご一緒に萌え萌えキュン It is embedded in our memories for all eternity Forgetting something like that would be plain impossible Honestly, it was downright adorable. I was a little taken aback at first, but if she started doing that for real when waiting customers, we would appeal to an entirely different demographic. I have to admit, I'd become a regular just for that. What? We totally forgot to bet we had a look on our face, didn't we? You know, the more you tell me to, the harder it is to erase from my mind. That's okay. No, thank you. Please stop threatening to knock me in the head. Could you be a little more specific? We've seen a few things. Well, that was all you. But speaking of things she wouldn't want me to see. Another flashback. And there it is. I still remember when I saw her in her bra and panties. Ooh, talk about a sight for sore eyes. That thin, lacy fabric. I wonder if she's wearing something similar right now. <laughs> Well, you're right. Just your imagination. Anyway, back to what we were talking about the whole Moe Moe Kyun thing. I heard it, I just didn't listen. Wait, I'm not teasing you, I'm being serious here. That whole maid cafe shtick honestly wasn't half bad. I was stunned. Well, that's because you wanted me to do it with you. Kind of took me out of the moment and made me ask myself what the hell we're doing. Still, I can't say I didn't like it. I actually thought it was pretty cute. But then again, I am a guy. Oh, so soon. Cut down in its prime. これからもウェイトレスとして頑張りますのでカフェステラをよろしくお願いしますご主人様なんてねman that's a shame I think you were on to something it had a certain charm to it 余計な気遣いは無用ごめんねいきなり私に付き合わせて That's okay. I asked you to go to the bar with me, so we're even. It's the best day ever. Wait, what? D dinner? T together? Really? I, I mean, I, I don't mind at all. Sure, yes, I would very much like to. I can make it grosser. I don't know that it was that gross. What do you want? I wasn't expecting a dinner invitation. Of course I sound nervous. Wait, are we aiming for Chad or Normie? I'm confused. Stop bringing that up. Is it really that much fun humiliating me? Alright, I'll wait here. This isn't a dinner date. We're just a pair of friends eating together. Totally normal. We've already eaten lunch together at school, so this isn't anything special. And yet, I'm giddy with anticipation. Six months ago, I never would have thought I'd be eating together with such a cute girl. At least it was something that only happened in my dreams, among other things. It's just dinner. I know that, but I can't stop a grin from creeping onto my face. Hopefully not a creepy grin. 
She announces this out loud like a train conductor, checking and double checking to make sure it's shut tight. I get it. I have to do that same kind of thing when I shut up an office. You're pretty thorough about these things, huh? Just like Chucky in that episode of uh, Rugrats. What about my dad? Dude. Yeah, I can relate. And once the thought gets in your head, it won't stop nagging you. You start thinking things like, what if a burglar breaks in? Making it even harder to get off your mind. Hmm? Speaking of which, where are Akazuki-san and Mikado? Ah, okay. Is that why she chose to do the maid thing today? Because she knew no one else would be around? Makes sense. Yes, of course, let's! Okay. Well, Saren Prince isn't here, so Wakanda forever! Crap! I completely forgot about where we'd be eating. Honestly, I've been so nervous I hadn't thought of any kind of plan at all. I'm fine with anything. You want that smell sticking to your clothes? I'm not a huge fan of things with cilantro. Oh, same. Tastes like soap to me. Ew. The broth might splash everywhere. I mean, if that's what you're into. Fine. Serious answer then? How about some place with avocado pasta? But do you like avocado? Hmm. What about just a fancy Italian restaurant then? No. Oh, okay, fine. Expensive French restaurant? No. Traditional non-conveyor belt sushi joint? <sighs> Why are you sighing? You're not testing me, are you? Well, I know this is the first episode of your route, but come on. Yeah. I guess not. In that case, we can just go to a pub, a diner, or a Western cuisine restaurant. Cheeseburgers. There's a place up ahead called Yukiyama Grill. It's cheap and it's pretty good, too. I go there sometimes when I feel like having deep fried food, since I'm too lazy to cook it at home. You sure? Take a left at the next block. Looking more enthusiastic than I had expected, she walks off with brisk steps. Ah, she likes fried food. Don't expect something amazing, though. It's good, but it really is just a normal restaurant. Sweet. You said you live alone, right? Couldn't you commute to school from home then? Ooh, tell me more. Talking to her like this, I realized something. Shiki-san really is just a normal girl, not a alien in disguise, or something like that. Since all the guys at Skrull idolize her so much, I'd always put her on a pedestal. Yeah, don't do that. But the more I get to know her, the more things I realize we actually have in common. Then there's her personality. 
Though she usually acts cool and collected, as you'd expect, she also has a cute side to her. From having an awkward smile, to being a playful drunk, to cracking a surprising amount of jokes. Nani? Uh, nothing. Just listing off your personality traits? So? Dang, I was hoping we'd have another CG for this. Glad you liked it. Honestly, though, I couldn't stop worrying that it was some sort of test. Yeah, I guess. That must explain why she places so much emphasis on making our customers smile at the cafe. Hmm. So, girls prefer a more casual dining experience? I was about to say, what, we just paint everybody with really broad strokes, I guess. What do you mean by the occasion? Like Christmas, for example? Yeah, I guess I feel that way too sometimes. What about you, Shiki-san? Do the holidays get you in the mood to eat somewhere fancy? That does not surprise me at all. So dinner at home then. Gotcha. Somewhat unsurprisingly, Shiki-san's values differ a bit from that of your average girl. Although, maybe I'm just naive when it comes to how girls think. Probably. You don't have any plans for the holidays? I thought for sure there'd be tons of guys asking you out. Alone with a girl on Christmas. Yeah, I can see how a guy might misinterpret that. Have you always hated Christmas, though? Didn't you celebrate it when you were a kid? I was about to say, yeah, being introverted is a big jump from hating Christmas. Your friends? I mean, I had suspicions, but now I'm beginning to think they were wrong. I never said that. I only thought it. Mostly I'm just curious whether these friends of hers were boys or girls. Was it just her and one friend, or was it a whole group? I'm willing to bet Shiki-san was cute when she was a kid too. Maybe it was even older classmates who asked her out. Hmm. Internal ellipses. What kind of playdates did you have? Supposed to? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, right. That's why your parents couldn't open up the cafe, isn't it? Wait, so how many times have you been in the hospital? They're great. I got the chance to try one the other day. I mean, I won't say no. You'll have to ask Suzune-san about that. I'm helping with them too, but she's ultimately the only one who knows how to do the finishing touches. 
Yeah, I've been practicing a bit myself, but it's hard to get mine to the same level of quality as hers. I mean, she is a professional pastry chef, after all. It'd probably take me more than a hundred tries to get it right. But yeah, I think Suzune-san would be grateful for the extra help. It did let her focus on perfecting them. Don't you already have your hands full on the dining floor, though? The more pre-orders we get, the busier things are bound to get on your end. Ah, very true. Yeah, either way, we'll have to wait and see what the boss says. What are you doing for New Year's? Going to visit your parents? The 30th is a Wednesday and the cafe will be closed. From there we'll have New Year's Eve off, followed by the first three days of the New Year. We won't be open for business again until Monday, January 4th. Speaking of which, the cafe's been doing pretty well lately, hasn't it? Have you, um, thought about inviting your parents to come see the place? Oh, yeah, because they didn't really want her to start up the cafe anyway. Interesting. Alright, uh, sorry if that question was a little too personal. After saying that, she downs the rest of her cocktail. <sighs> Changing the subject, I bet a lot of guys have asked you out for the New Year's too, right? To go shrine visiting or whatever? It ain't easy being popular, huh? <laughs> Feels like you're only going to get more invitations as the holidays get closer too. Uh, well, you could say that you have a boyfriend and use us as a convenient excuse. Can't you just say you're visiting your parents? Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Okay. Psychic! I should probably leave it at that. Well, if you want to stick with the I have work excuse, you'll probably have to find a job that'll hire you for New Year's. If you want, I can get you work as a shrine maiden. Is it the outfit? Don't give me that look. I'm not saying I'll pay you to cosplay for me. You've heard of the Akaiwa Shrine, haven't you? It's local. The place is actually managed by Nozomi's family. They look for temporary shrine maidens every year for New Year's. I'm sure they'd be happy to hire you. That way you can easily turn down anyone who asks you out, just as long as you don't go into detail on what you're doing. You really do expect the worst out of us, don't you? Oh really? That's surprising. Don't tell me you're actually a cosplay enthusiast yourself, Shiki-san. Oh, come on. Not sure why you're treating that as a fact. I never once said I have a thing for cosplay, you know? Well, that doesn't automatically mean... I'm afraid I don't recall. Eh? 
Okay, now you're just taking that out of context. Like hell I did! That was you who said both of those things! Rude. She smiles with uncharacteristic mischief, and I feel my heart skip a beat. You drunk already? She heaves a breathy sigh. From where I'm sitting, it looks <laughs> kind of sexy. Uh, you totally are. You're gonna end up regretting it tomorrow, I guarantee. But is the drink helping? Oh yeah? Should I go ahead and let Nozomi know? I'll text her right now. Hey, Nozomi! That's the spirit. I don't think there's a specific age limit, but I get the feeling most New Year Shrine Maidens are young women. And besides, I'd imagine it'd be hard for us to work a side job like this once we become working adults. True story. As college students, this is probably the best time for us to broaden our horizons. Forget about what now? Don't worry, in terms of skimpiness, Miko outfits are pretty modest. I'll talk to Nozomi about it later. Anyway, we should probably head home soon. Why? You asked for water, are you expecting another drink? I like how her facial expression has changed, but we've had basically the same smile on our face this whole time. <laughs> well, just so you know, you better not blame me for your hangover tomorrow. Ah, I suppose it's fine. I knew this would happen when I invited her out today. Plus, I'm the only one who can see her like this, and that's not a bad feeling. Thanks for keeping me company today. Sorry it's so late. Yeah, could you remind me about that again? Well, I don't think I was much help with that. The important thing is that you had fun. Hey, you're actively thinking of ways to improve the place. That's a good thing. Suzune-san told me something similar, too. And either way, I doubt I'll get another chance to be called Master by Shiki-san again. Ah, but the route is early. A waste of time? <laughs> Hardly. I actually would have paid good money for it. If you need my help with anything again, just let me know. I'd be happy to lend a hand. Whether or not I'll actually be any help is a separate matter, though. What, is it not charming? It's just kind of a habit I've developed over the years. Oh man, I was Kosei in college. But maybe if I get a couple of piercings like you, that'll change things for me? All right, I'm gonna be one of the cool guys. That's news to me, but okay. Is that why you got yours pierced? That's not an answer. Her speech and tone reminded me of earlier when I brought up her parents. It's definitely her way of telling me to drop the subject. 
Even I can understand that much. That is to say, it's just that obvious. Well, anyway, thanks for the advice. I'll try to keep it in mind. Is that a compliment? She's probably just being nice. I shouldn't take her too seriously if I don't want to get my hopes dashed again. But still, it makes me happy hearing that sort of thing coming from a girl. Hey, our choices got us here, so there you go. Whoa, careful! For a moment, she nearly loses her balance. I catch her arm before she stumbles onto the road and pull her back toward me. I end up pulling her a lot closer than I honestly intended to. Her cute features, flushed from the booze, are just a few inches from my face. Man, she really is pretty. Watch your step. There aren't any cars around at this time of night, but best to be careful. Want to sit down? I can go buy you some water. Oh, by all means do. Before I can even respond, I feel a tug at my back. Looking over my shoulder, I see her grabbing onto my coat. You sure you're okay? Well, if you say so. It's to the left up here, right? Okay. You're gonna get us in trouble one of these days. Keep her voice down! I wasn't pretending, okay? I genuinely forgot where you live. And for the record, I don't have the guts to pull off something like that anyway. Not acting flustered, I am flustered. Then stop shouting for help, please! You're gonna give me a heart attack. Like in the dead end route. I begin walking ahead and she follows behind. Honestly, it feels like I'm towing along a small child. By the way, you said you don't normally drink, right? No, that's not what I meant. I'm just surprised you know about such fancy bars despite being someone who doesn't drink often. Even the last time we went, she looked right at home. And I didn't get the impression she invited me because she was too scared to go alone, like in my case. Yeah, makes you feel cooler. So what, are you hooked now that you've tried it? Have you ever had anyone hit on you there? Oh, Good bar. You never got a free drink from the gentleman over there or anything? That's probably for the best. No? I always thought bars were places for people to hook up. Yeah. If I were to go out drinking with Hiroto, we'd probably go to a pub where we could make as much of a ruckus as we wanted. 
but with Shiki-san. Hmm, I think I preferred the sort of quiet bar we went to today. She continues to hang on to my coat. Rather than matching her drunken pace, however, I walk a little faster in order to pull her along. But not too fast. I don't want her to stumble again. I'm not going too fast for you, am I? She and I walking home together at night. She teased me about it before, but I genuinely wonder if we looked like a couple right now. The thought makes my heart skip a beat. It's a strange, inexplicable feeling. I've never felt this before in my entire life. It's like butterflies in my stomach. I can't calm down. And not the spectral kind, either. Still, there's something comfortable about it. If anything, I don't want it to go away. Wanna go out drinking again sometime? Oh, but I am. Well, I would, but I don't have anyone I'm particularly interested in at the moment. Besides, it'd probably be kind of off-putting if I randomly asked a girl to go to a bar with me, just the two of us. Well, there you go. Exactly, which is why it would be too difficult. For someone like me, anyway. I can't help it, it's just how I am. Yes, ma'am. Are you sure I saw you stumble? Now steady on her feet, she releases her grip on me. Her reddened cheeks also seem to have regained a bit of their usual complexion. Looks like she'll be fine. No need to worry about her. Alright, I'll see you later then. Yeah, night. After watching Shiki-san leave, I hunker down on the spot. God damn! That ain't plain fair, holding on to my coat like that. Was she doing it on purpose? Was this some kind of test? It took everything I had to keep my voice level as we talked. But on the inside, my heart was hammering. It was beating so fast that I honestly thought I might die. Again. I wasn't ready for that. I've always thought she was attractive. She's both cute and fun to talk to. But having a girl like that cling so close to me? Ooh, it isn't good for my heart. <sighs> Ugh. I'm going to catch a cold if I stand here all night. I better get home. After walking by myself for a while, my head begins to cool down. I decide to pull out my phone and call Nozomi. I send her a message first to make sure she's still awake. Luckily, she messages me right back. Go on. Hmm, that's rare. Are we actually talking on the phone? Because right now it sounds like she's in some sort of ethereal tunnel. Mind if I call you? Oh, it's the message, okay. After getting permission, I tap the call button. Hey, sorry for calling so late. So, what does your dad want? If it's about help, I got you covered. 
このまま電話で話すならお父さんと変わった方がいいかなふん I get the feeling it'll take a while so why don't I head over to your house instead your dad's home isn't he? Great, I'll be there soon. I wonder what this is all about. I ask the Sumizomes every year if they need any help, but they've never actually taken me up on my offer before. The situation must be a bit different this year. Well, I guess I'll find out when I get there. Cafe Stella to Shigami no Chou. Ooh, that's new. The next day, I managed to wake up in time to attend my morning class at college. Coincidentally, this is the class I have with Shiki san. Hey. The moment our eyes meet, Shiki san, most likely remembering yesterday's events, turns red with embarrassment. What's with all the sigh? You're going to deflate. You know, if you call that losing control, that's actually pretty mild. Got another hangover? Thanks for coming out with me. Speaking of yesterday, though. No, 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 not like that. Whoa, whoa! Don't glare at me like that. I'm not talking about you being drunk. I meant the shrine maiden job I mentioned on New Year's. It seems the situation's changed a bit this year. No, that's not what I'm saying. No, no. Nozomi's dad said he'd be more than happy to hire you as a shrine maiden. But if you're up for it, there's actually a more important job he'd like you to do. Do you have time to talk about the details after this? I know we have work, but this shouldn't take too much time. To Coruscant. I want you to come with me to Akaiwa Shrine. Once the lecture was finished, Shiki-san and I made our way over to the shrine, so that I could ask Rokuro-san to explain the situation once again. はじめまして、望みの父の住み染めロクロです。娘がいつもお世話になっています。はじめまして、シキ夏目と言います。望みさんには私の方がいつもお世話になってますから。And I help. Right, that's why I brought Shiki-san with me today. As much as I'd love to help, I don't think I can do it on my own. あの、どういうことでしょうか。コウセイ君には昨日話をしたんだけどね。お祭りや正月なんかに屋台が並ぶのは知ってるよね。no, this is news to all of us. うちの場合、地元で店を出してる人たちの区画と昔馴染みの人にお願いしてる区画に分けてるんだけど。何分急な話だからね。Not that I'm aware of, and don't call me Shirley. 出店できる地元の人たちは、それぞれの地区で平等になるよう、数を調整してるんだよ。厄介なことに、この売り上げが今後に影響を及ぼすことがあるから… Well, 
正月の勝ち負けが発言力に影響を及ぼすっていうのかなはっきりと決められているわけじゃないんだけど暗黙の約束っていうか慣例昔からずっとそういう流れがあってね他にも草野球とかいろいろ勝負してるらしい。Boy, these must be really、fun events with them. それに関しては、外の人間が口を挟むことではないんだけどね。今回みたいな場合だと、気軽にどちらからとはできなくて。What, you mean you're not gonna act like Avatar Aang and just solve the problem by making up a story? 毎年毎年、よく言えば盛り上がって。悪く言えば、もめ事の種なんだよ。片方だけを優遇できないってことですね。そうなんだよ。スペースを開けたままだともったいないから、どっちからも使わせてほしいと言われて、困ってるんだ。So、we need an impartial third party. だからね、どちらにも肩入れしないで済む人に、お願いできるとありがたい。There it is. The neighborhood that Cafe Stella is located in doesn't have many businesses to begin with. There are a couple of convenience stores, a supermarket, and a drugstore, but it's mainly a residential area. An area that's irrelevant to the local business disputes that have been causing Rokuro san all these headaches. どうだろうお願いできないだろうか申請なんかもあるから。早めに解決したいけど誰でもいいってわけにもいかないだろうそういう意味で昴生君やのぞみが信用している子なら申し分ない急な話なのは分かってるこちらとしてもできるだけ協力はするつもりだなんとかお願いできないだろうか I mean it's relevant for the plot so probably Desperation If there was one word to describe the look in Rokuro san's eyes, that would be it. In all likelihood, this isn't the only problem he has to deal with. He's also responsible for managing all of the festival proceedings, including the preparations for the dance dedicated to the gods. He probably has to meet with a lot of other people as well, such as the part time shrine maidens or the extra security he's hired. In fact, I doubt he's even getting much sleep these days. His complexion seems awfully pale. But above all, there's one more reason I can't ignore his request. I owe him. Ooh, butterfly. Oh. Shiki san appears to have noticed it as well. The glowing butterfly which hovers around Rokuro san like it's being drawn toward him. Although there's only one at the moment, it may not be long before that number multiplies. I wish I could have agreed immediately when he asked. But there's no way I'd be able to run the street stall all by myself. The issue is clear. But I can't get out of the way. Can you give me a little time? Yes, I understand. But... 可能な限り返事は早めにしてもらえるとありがたい。Of course, we'll let you know by tomorrow. うん、すまないけどよろしく頼むよ。Well, there you have it. I know you had your heart set on wearing that shrine maiden outfit, but we're gonna have to let it go. 高峰くんと一緒にしないでくれる？ I don't either. Eh? Okay, well, you're putting us in a no win situation there. I mean, yes, we do, but it's not a thing. I didn't say anything. You shouldn't put words in other people's mouths. That's wrong. Also, it's my job. Well, I can't see my own face. I can't even see your legs. I only see the upper half of your torso. I 
have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> she snorts upon seeing me avert my gaze guiltily. Alright. So you know that break we were getting? We're not getting it. Yeah, that's true. We need all the help we can get. We do. どこに問題はありませんよ。超が関わっているとなれば、ぜひもない。でもそれって捨てら出張所みたいな感じにするんですか？なあ、we I mean, that's perfectly viable. Who doesn't love a good, uh, coffee stall? Alright, so we do a special. Alright, Thanks. I was thinking of asking Suzune-san if she had any ideas. I also thought about asking you about your special blend, but I kind of figured you'd probably say no. You'll be compensated with treats? Sorry if you already had plans. I know this is on pretty short notice. ああ、いや。家でゴロゴロするつもりだったから、そこは気にしないでいいんだけど。でもやっぱり休みは重要ですから。あくまで準備段階で少し知恵をお借りしたいんです。知恵って言われても私も文化祭の模擬店くらいし
It'd be difficult to make something like pasta or omelette rice in a tiny stall, too. Seriously? The rules for this are a lot stricter than I thought. I had no idea. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Rice is one of those things that can cause problems if it's not properly stored. Well, if we're doing this, we should do it right. I want our stall to be second to none. In fact, I want the other stalls to be jealous of how popular we are. If we half-ass it, we'll just create more headaches for Rakuro-san. That's how these things go. Sorry, I know I'm asking a lot. I wonder if there's a bunch of butterflies. Ooh, I like this plan. Yeesh, these two are way too competitive. Okay, maybe we don't like this plan. Why do I have the sneaking suspicion it's going to be the maid outfit? Hmm. In that case... <laughs> oh, I called it. In that case, why don't we just get Shiki-san to serve customers in her maid outfit? Huh? <laughs> Surely a cute maid would draw the attention and boost our sales, no? Who says I'm messing around? I am. It was a serious suggestion, actually. Am I only saying that because I want to see Shiki-san in her maid outfit? Well, maybe. But I do genuinely think it would serve as a great way to attract customers. みんな流れに乗って歩いてるんだから、一人一人ゆっくり接客してる時間はないわけ。つまり、コスプレでインパクトを出すなら、見た瞬間にパッとわかるやつの方がいいんだよ。Where are you going with this? ん?鈴根さん露出度もあるとなおよし。Oh, okay. Oh, so like a bunny costume or maybe a nurse's outfit? <laughs> Bunny Shiki. Nurse Shiki. Hmm, you know, I think I could actually get behind that. Literally and figuratively. What do you say? Pretty. Okay, chill out. You're scaring me. Well, if we hadn't crossed cream puffs off the list, it could be like bunny tails. Thanks a lot. Guess everyone's on board. Can I go ahead and tell Rokuro-san we'll do it? Mm. Thanks. What a convenient lull in service. Alright, I'll handle the pasta. Whew, the day is finally over. Oh cool, what did he say? Yeah, we figured that. I figured. Do you know what the guy who hurt his back was originally planning to sell, out of curiosity? Interesting. 
you think he'd let us borrow his idea? Now we're throwing ideas out there and seeing what sticks. Well, we're still exploring our options. It's a possibility, at least. But since your dad asked us specifically, I prefer to come up with something unique. Come up with a good, unique idea. That'd be great, but you'll be busy with your Shrine Maiden duties, won't you? Alright, but don't overwork yourself, okay? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Yeah, sure. Actually, want to go to that bar again? Or it might make you say something brilliant. It doesn't bother me, honestly. Not at all. No, really. I just thought it seemed like a quiet place to talk. That works. You? Cook? For me? No, I, I, I'm not doubting your culinary skills or anything. But, uh, where exactly are we going to be dining? Seriously? Yep, no, 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 hang on, don't, don't, uh, don't make hasty decisions here. What, what, why? Okay, you really need to stop that joke. Seriously, stop doing that! You're gonna give me a heart attack or get me arrested again. Yes. That's not what I meant. I'm just a little nervous at the thought of having a girl visit my apartment or vice versa. That's all. Uh, 60 -40. Yes! Well, okay. I may have fantasized about a thing or two. Huh? Uh, uh, I guess I don't mind. Are you sure, though? Well, generally speaking, it's reality if it doesn't have the white border around the outside. If it's fantasy, it's usually pretty clear. Also, also everything, everything gets, gets all echoey with the audio. Don't worry, I'd never do anything illegal, I swear. Not inspiring confidence. She nods slightly as if to say she already knew. I'm not sure if that means she trusts me, or if she doesn't even see me as a member of the opposite sex. Well, whatever. If it means I get to eat Shiki-san's homemade cooking, I suppose I can put up with it. Oh, oh indeed. After closing up shop, Shiki-san and I head toward the supermarket. I mean, I do, but I'm, I don't know. I don't hate it, but in terms of favorites, I'd have to say I like curry more. But I also like meat in general. Beef, pork, chicken, mmm. You name it. Sure, any of those would be great. 
唐揚げはちょっとなここで問題ですハンバーグと生姜焼きならどっちうん I think I'm in the mood for pork よかったじゃあ豚肉と玉ねぎとああ、What the hell is going on? This is the kind of shit married couples do. I mean, we're not even dating, let alone married. We're, we're just friends. But something about chatting like this as we shop for dinner、uh, gets my heart all a flutter. Not because I'm expecting anything to come of this. But simply because I enjoy spending time together with her. No, snap out of it. I've got to rein in my fantasies before they get out of hand. I don't want to end the evening with the cops bursting through my door. What were you imagining? Welcome. Deep breaths. This is actually happening. Shiki san's actually in my apartment. I wonder if she'll pinch my cheek again. No. Don't call them just for laughs. I'm sure they're busy. Look, I'm not having any weird thoughts or anything. I'm just nervous, that's all. There's just something strange about seeing you in my room and not my fantasies. You are? A day of firsts. Thank you. Well, you know. Well, you know. She used to, but these days I do it all myself. Since she always used to keep everything clean for me, I can't stand leaving things messy now. And letting junk pile up just means more work when you have to clean it up later. If I have to spend my days off doing housework, it ends up feeling like I wasted the day away. I'm always prepared. Most of the stuff I have is in the fridge or under the sink. After that, it took Shiki san less than 30 minutes to finish cooking. Arranged on top of the kotatsu table is a plate of ginger fried pork garnished with cabbage and tomatoes, along with rolled omelets, potato salad, and miso soup as side dishes. Since we set the rice cooker to quick cook, the rice was ready right on time as well. Man, this looks really good. I don't know, it looks good to me. I don't buy it. This has to be delicious. It's a hand cooked meal by Shiki san, after all. It doesn't have to be the best food I've ever had. I'm happy just knowing that she made it for me herself. Alright, let's dig in! First, I bring my chopsticks up to the main dish, the ginger fried pork. Mmm, this is great! Your ginger fried pork is something else. So delicious! But it's true. No, seriously. I know you told me not to expect much, but this honestly tastes amazing. So? Not a. You got that. Though brusque as usual, the corners of her mouth seem to curl upwards ever so slightly. She might actually have been worried that I wouldn't like it. I'll flattery aside, this is great. It does taste a little different to the ginger fried pork I usually eat, though. I wonder why that is. Ah, I know. It's a bit sweeter. Did you use sugar when making the sauce? 
生姜がダメで砂糖を使ってるわけじゃないさすがにそこまでじゃないからね It wasn't a criticism I know I wasn't saying it's too sweet In fact it's just right You're pretty good at cooking You wanna take my place in the kitchen sometime? 自分で作って自分で食べるだけだから上手ってほどのことはないけど Maybe, but it's far from bad. I'd say your taste for seasoning is pretty sharp. Well, except for that time you basically drank a cup of coffee flavored sugar. <laughs> It makes me feel good inside. Maybe, but I don't think that much sugar is good for you. Not that you drink it every day, but still. You're welcome. But anyway, this is delicious. Makes me want to try your curry or your Hamburg steak, too. I don't want to hear that from someone who can't eat green peppers. Ah, your kryptonite. I really do want to try the other stuff, though. All right. After making quick work of the ginger fried pork, Shiki san and I gather up the dishes and begin to wash them side by side. In the meantime, we start to discuss the main topic of her visit today the stall. Though we're not exactly getting anywhere. I think we should go with something as simple as possible. That'll make our job easier on the day of. So you Anything but those. Baby Castella cakes are pretty easy to make too. I mean, probably, with a bit of practice at least. Oh, the outfit? That's why stuff like takoyaki is so popular. It's hard to resist the urge when you see them. They're a street stall staple. Paper staples. You mean like osechi or mochi? Want some tangerines? Here. Mmm, tangerines. Now that you mention it, we should probably sell something that'll warm people up. It needs to be something people can eat while walking, though. Hmm. <laughs> What about roasted sweet potatoes? That said, though, it'd probably be a lot of work. Necessary equipment aside, we'd also have to find a sweet potato supplier and then do some taste testing as well. We'd have to try out the different varieties of potatoes and stock up on however many we need, too. But I'm not sure what we'll do with the leftovers if we don't sell out. Oh,、uh, why is this so hard? Plus, the variety of sweet potatoes we use for roasting might not be the best for making sweets either. Then there's the fact that most people peel the skin before eating. Which might be a problem if the shrine grounds ended up littered with potato skins afterwards. I do think they'd sell pretty well, though. Hmm. I always see it in the hot food section at the convenience store, yeah. But speaking of convenience store food, what about Chinese meat buns? 
That sounds like a surprisingly good idea. Akaiwa Shrine isn't very far from Cafe Stella, so we could even use the store's kitchen to make them. Chinese meat buns. Come to think of it, Shiki's son would look pretty good in a china dress, too. Huh? Did I say that out loud? What, what did I do? Your eyes are scaring me. No, it was thematic. Of course not. I was just thinking of ways to make our stall more successful. What? No. Look, okay? I wasn't going to make you wear one. I just thought you'd look good in one. That's all. I can only imagine how pretty she'd be. No doubt that it would make our stall one of the most popular ones among customers. But alas. I'll walk you back. I know, but still, wouldn't want anything to happen to you on your way home. I'll let Rokodo-san know what we've decided today. It's already late, so it'll be less rude if I call instead. It's fine. It's all good. I was planning to do it all myself anyway if I had to. Uh, not exactly. The Sumizomes have just done a lot for me, so I'd like to return the favor if they need my help. They've always treated me like I'm part of their family, but they've never really come to me for help like they are now. So I want to show them what I'm capable of. Although that may just be my pride talking. If anything, I should be the one apologizing for having you help me with this. I know you really wanted to wear that Shrine Maiden outfit. Well, at any rate, with Christmas coming up soon too, it's going to be a busy holiday season for us. Alright, see you tomorrow. Oh, hey, we get to see the inside of her room now. <sighs> Today was the first... Oh, it's me. It, I, I'm shaky now. Um, I'm not going to try to do a different voice, sorry. That's probably for the best. It would probably come off sounding really weird. Today was the first time I've ever cooked for someone else, and also the first time I've ever been to a guy's house. Actually, come to think of it, this was the first time I've even been to a friend's house. Turning on the hot water faucet, I pull out my phone as I wait for the water to fill the bath. Message? I forgot to say thanks for dinner. It was delicious. Thanks. Good night for real this time. Yes, he does. <laughs> We're getting in there. We're co workers, so I can be a little more casual and friendly with him. In that case. <laughs> okay, that might be a little heavy-handed. Okay, no, that was way too peppy. 
お礼なんていいよ今日は私も嬉しかった、mm. ありがとね Ugh, that's too out of character for me. If I sent a text like that, he'd probably think there was something wrong with me. Yeah, probably. I just want to reply to him normally, the way I usually talk to him, but I've never texted anyone before, girl or guy, so I have. Wait, wait, wait. She's never texted anyone before? Wow, okay, that's new information, so I have no experience to use. Maybe I should just reply with a sticker? Okay, maybe not. I've never bought any. <laughs> I toss my phone onto the bed. Takamine kun said goodnight anyway, so he ended the conversation himself. There shouldn't be any need for me to reply. That isn't going to cause us to overthink at all. That's correct. I've still got some time before the bath's ready, so why not? I'll reply to him. There you go, that's good. Glad we didn't have a choice, that would have been awkward. It sounds a bit on the polite side, but we're just normal friends, nothing more. So it should be fine. I don't want to rack my brains over this any longer, so it'll have to do. You start to like Kosei. <laughs> I suppose that's just how grateful I am for all he's done for me. From the menu to helping us open Cafe Stella. Then making sure we attracted a ton of customers. And finding such incredible employees to keep our business running. I'm sure Takamine kun has his own reasons for helping us, but even still, it feels like I've been relying on him a bit too much. I wish there was some way I could repay him. More dinners! Wait, what stops have there been? I'm taking the street stall thing very seriously. Naturally, that was the plan all along. But if I were to really pull out all the stops, then... Oh, is it going to be the dress? It's going to be the dress. Well, I'm glad that you're on board with it, Suzune san, but we're going to have to wait to see how this develops in the next episode. So this has been a really good start to this route. It's pretty exciting. We're getting to learn more about Shiki, and we got a free meal out of it. How nice was that? Yeah, we're still very much in the just friends stage, but I think it's pretty nice how things are kind of coming along pretty naturally, I would say. It seems like she's warming up to Takamine a little bit more. I never call him Takamine, he's Kosei pretty well. And it seems like things are kind of developing to where we're pretty much close friends at this point. And I'm pretty sure that she's going to end up wearing that dress. So that's going to be fun. It's going to be good. CG. Looking forward to that. At any rate, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. For now, I am one of the two Bridge Boys, signing off.